without will should be the whole of the law. Fred or Oz again. I wanted to make a video today to talk more specifically about the Holy Guardian Angel. Uh, this is a concept within Thelema that is a main concept of the system. Okay, and while we're not going to go too much into technicalities in this video, I wanted to make something on it. You know, kind of give you my views and thoughts about the Holy Guardian Angel uh, just as something for you to work with, okay? So before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and help the channel continue to grow. Uh, like the video to help push it out to more people and leave me a comment below. And you guys feel free to, to leave your thoughts about the Holy Guardian Angel, especially those of you who are more experienced to help the new people understand the concept. Uh, and we also have a Patreon. The link will be down in the description below. You can join that to support the channel moving forward and help me to build a retirement. All of the money from the, from the Patreon and the YouTube and the T-shirts and all that stuff goes into a, an account for, that I invest in different stocks to build a retirement. Okay. Also in the description down there is a link to the T-shirts. If you want to buy a t-shirt, click on the link, but be sure that you click all the way through the link to the actual Teespring store so that you can see all the designs. There's many designs. There are hoodies, long sleeves, men's and women's t-shirts. So uh, check that out and consider picking up a t-shirt. So the Holy Guardian Angel is a concept within Thelema that we've touched on a lot while talking about the Tree of Life and Tifereth and Balance and all sorts of things because the, the idea of knowledge and conversation with the Holy Guardian Angel is an idea that's very central to Thelema. It is the goal of all of these practices that you know exist within the corpus of Thelema. They all lead toward this experience that we call knowledge and conversation of the Holy Guardian Angel. Okay, now this is not a concept that is unique to Thelema. It exists in other places. And in Christianity and in, in many places, some type of concept similar to this exists. Two miles. Keep right on two so what we expect from this experience of knowledge and conversation of the Holy Guardian Angel is some sort of guidance toward the accomplishment of the great work, guidance toward staying on the path of the true will or, the, or pure will, okay? Uh, it is meant to help us to stay on our path and to more efficiently navigate the world and ourselves. Now, many people view the Holy Guardian Angel in different ways. And one thing I, I will say is that you don't hear a lot of people talking about their particular experience with their angel, okay? Now, some would say this is because not very many people are, in, are really in contact with that angel. And, you know, there are those who make the argument that a lot of people who get involved in Thelema don't really do the work. Like, like you know, they wear it as a badge and... Uh, look at it as I've said from a like a mental masturbation type of standpoint and they're doing everything kind of stuck in the sphere of hode and not really doing the real work that it takes to connect with this angel. Now, I think that there is some truth to that. I think that there is a rather large contingent of Thelemites who who may not actually be doing the work. You know, there's no way to really tell without knowing a person and seeing what their work is. But I also think that there are quite a few Thelemites who are in contact with their angel and whether they consciously realize it or not, have made contact. Because, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, people have these preconceived notions about what it means to, to have knowledge and conversation of the Holy Guardian Angel. But in my view, this could uh, occur in many different ways. Um, you know, people might expect for this experience to be direct.
effects to where you can actually have a, a physical within your psyche a physical conversation with this angel and ask it questions etc etc in my view uh, at least for me that is not how it has worked now I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about my personal experiences with the holy guardian angel and and that's one of the things that I'm, I'm talking about with what I said before is that there are there are some of us who don't really like to discuss our personal work and and you know I have a lot of that in me I don't like to really discuss my personal journey and my personal work it's, it's not that it's taboo but you know I'm very careful not to try to give off this air of superiority or, you know, to try to pretend like I have all the answers because I certainly don't. I'm just a regular guy. But I do feel like that I have been in contact with my angel for some period of years, okay? However, it's not this direct conversation that some people expect. I feel like that guidance comes from within and comes in the form of instinct that you develop over time that helps you make good decisions, you know, I mean, I, that's all there is to it, and, you know, whether whether you believe in this as a an external entity that's guiding you or an internal process, uh, it is something that I believe to be real, okay, like objectively real. Now, so I'm just going to give some some examples of, because I, as you know, I view this from more of a psychological perspective, from more of an atheist or, or agnostic standpoint, okay? So I want to give some examples of how powerful the mind is, because to me, that's what the Holy Guardian Angel is. It's these uh, processes in, that occur all the time in all of our brains but that we don't have direct access to. So think of someone with a photographic memory, okay? If they read something, they will remember it forever by just reading it one time. It is my belief that all of our brains do this. All of our brains categorize and, and remember this information forever. It's just that those with a photographic memory are able to readily access that information. But I believe that all of our brains store that information. This is one way in which the brain is completely powerful that we don't really see, most of us. Another thing that you can look at is go and do a Google search or a YouTube search for idiot savants that's idiot savant s-a-v-a-n-t okay i want you to do a search on that and watch some videos or look at some information on idiot savants okay idiot savants are people who have these they're basically superpowers guys that, that have to do with their brain but they uh they present in normal life as being uh mentally retarded uh, at least to a certain extent, okay, but they have these mental powers that are unexplainable and crazy, okay, like the, the guy who the movie Rain Man was based on, you can watch videos of this guy, and he presents as if he's mentally handicapped, like in a major way, okay, but you can ask, the, you can tell the guy any date, and he will tell you what the weather was on that day, you can ask, you can tell him something from a phone book and he will he will tell you the other information from that listing in a phone book uh, he can do these complex crazy things with numbers uh, there's another one who uh, I watched a video on a long time ago who uh, also presents as mentally handicapped and uh, they he draws okay and they flew him in a helicopter over a city new message Daily reminder and then had from him. safety oh, today. Safety tip of the day. Moment. Avoid dark violations by ensuring your locks are certified daily and keeping your load information like trailer oh, number and pull up oh, to date on your blue tree. Traffic will start to be heavier than normal due to the fourth. Slow down, pay Join attention, the Patreon and, and support the, the channel. Okay. 
So they flew this guy in a helicopter over this city, and his thing is drawing these complex pictures, right? So they flew him over the city. It was like a you know an hour or something they flew him around. I don't know exactly how long it was. And then they brought him back to a room with a giant piece of paper. And they said, draw what you saw. Okay? And the guy drew the city like way accurate. Like some of the buildings even had the correct number of windows in them and all kinds of crazy stuff. You can go watch videos of this. And uh, so that's just it's just a, a a way of showing you that the mind is extremely powerful and it has all of these abilities to to do all many things that we cannot consciously make it do now subconsciously our brain like remembers all of this stuff and has a vast amount of knowledge that we we've, we've absorbed throughout our life okay in my view the Holy Guardian Angel experience is something that we kind of connect with that subconscious superpower in the mind, and it helps guide us. Now, uh, some ways that I, uh, one way in particular that I feel like I get a connection to my HGA is through music. Like, certain things that I play on the guitar, or certain... Uh, certain situations that I'm in musically put me almost into a trance-like state where, like, say I'm playing a blues, just a jam. Somebody just says, let's play some blues in G, and they start playing a blues thing. I go into this zone where, you know, I'm not saying that the playing is phenomenal or anything like that. What I'm saying is that I go into this zone where I just close my eyes and I start playing lead on the guitar and it just like flows from within me and it gives me this certain like a euphoric uh, feeling that I don't even have to consciously think about. I just close my eyes and just play, I can just go for an hour and you know, and it truly feels like this connection to something that's flowing out of me that I'm not even really conscious of. Like, I know I'm playing, but I'm not thinking about what my fingers are doing or anything. It's, 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 a, it's more like an emotion that comes from the inside. Uh, that's just one example of how I feel like I connect to the HGA. Uh, but I do feel like, you know, there at, at certain points in my life, you know, a switch flips and it triggers me to become passionate about a certain thing or uh, to decide, yes, I'm going to pursue this one thing. And I think that that is how the HGA manifests itself a lot. And I'm not discounting the fact that some people have a much more direct access to uh, the HGA, but I think that's more rare. I do think that developing all of these faculties of the mind and the body through the thelemic practice like allows us to more readily connect to it and I think that there are other practices that also foster this relationship and I think that that's a lot of why Crowley kind of laid out the system as he did and put it forth as like here is a system that will start getting you there and will teach you how to put these things together and what types of things should help you toward this uh, gaining this experience but he always said that he wanted you to cut your own way through the jungle he wanted you to then go beyond that once you've built that framework and have uh, built an understanding of how you should be putting these things together and an understanding of how these things can make changes in your life and affect your interaction with the world. Uh, so the HGA is a very personal experience. It's something that occurs differently for different people and different things trigger it. Crowley himself uh, undertook the Abermelon operation, Libra Samak, uh, at Bolus Boleskin and Boleskine to try to uh, connect with his HDA. He did not finish that work. He ended up finishing it 
riding on a camel across the desert, okay? And one thing that I will mention is that we, we see this in a lot of different spiritual uh, relationship or, or uh, systems. So you see like Moses took a journey into the desert and spoke to God or, uh, you know, Buddha had this uh, experience while he was in solitude. And these different prophets and stuff throughout the ages who have gone on this solitary journey and came back with some kind of a insight into the universe that they did not have before. And then like it talks about in Libra Porta Lucis that many have sought to do this being to, uh, to vocalize and teach what they learned through this experience but that their words have been perverted by their successors and again and again the veil has fallen upon the Holy of Holies. And I believe this is the HGA experience. Like the people who are able to, to have a really profound experience, which, you know, I have not achieved some super profound connection, but I do believe that others have and many of these prophets and people who have started religions, etc., etc., throughout the ages have had some type of transformative experience that brought them some kind of knowledge of the universe that they then tried to pass on to others. And I believe that to be a connection, some type of a profound connection to the HGA. And again, whether this is something that comes from within or something that is external and supernatural, I don't really think it matters. I think that the, the, the reality is that these experiences do happen, that it's you know, known throughout history that they happen, and that virtually anyone can achieve it if they do the work and they go through the process and they you know, connect with themselves on a level that most people do not. And what's that, that's really what all this is about, is balancing yourself, connecting with yourself, learning who you really are, and, and pursuing and encouraging your own nature. And I think that all these things push us toward that experience. So hopefully I didn't ramble too much, and hopefully this made sense to you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave me a comment. And consider joining the Patreon or picking up a t-shirt to support uh, the channel and my retirement. And thanks for your support. Love is the law. Love under will.